So to install version 10, we're going to go up a couple directories, back to our NStudio update, list directories, and go to NX10. Now that we're inside NX10, we're going to create exactly the same uh, workspace name, like workspace with exactly the same name. The reason why it has to be a workspace with exactly the same name so that next time when we're comparing files, we don't get false positives due to uh, different workspace names. So let's go ahead and do npx. Actually, I'm just going to npx create workspace only this time. Instead of 9.2.2, I'm going to call latest. As of now, the latest is 10.2 for NX, I believe. We're going to generate an empty with NX. I'm going to select no this time. And our workspace has been created. Let's change into it. And let's install our XSplat. I'm going to install the latest one as well. Okay, now that our XSplat is installed, let's create our applications. I'm going to create two applications with exactly the same names as we did for version 9. ng test for the first one. It's going to be a web app with Angular. And routing, yes. Angular, yes. Xbox supporting architecture, yes. In which directory should the app be generated? I'm just going to press enter. Choose SAS as CSS. Okay, so our web app is installed. Now let's install the other one, the native script. This one is NS test select native script routing yes angular yes xplot yes directory just press enter okay so our two apps are now installed let's uh, test them out going to take a look inside my package JSON to get these things here, these commands. I'm going to run npm run, then insert the command. And let's see if this compiles and runs. So it seems it might be running okay. Let's take a look here. Well, first let's reload this. Yeah. Seems to run just fine in version 10. Okay. Good. Close this. Now close this development server. And now let's do the same for native script and see if version 10 native script app is running. npm run and the command for starting a native script on Android. Unfortunately, I can't really test the iOS right now, but it's all good. Oh, 
Okay, this is uh, something that I ran into a few times. Uh, one thing when uh, deploying the new version of native script, I actually need to change one file a little bit. I actually have to go into the apps. Uh, go away, I don't want this thing. CD apps slash native script. Over here in the packages, package.json. For some reason, this webpack here is unhappy because of this tilde sign. So I'll just save it. And uh, now I have an issue because webpack just continues running due to, because of that for some reason. I'm actually going to restart my terminal. I'm going to copy this and restart my terminal because I don't want it to be running right now. Going to change into exactly the same directory. Let's see that I did change it. Yes, I did. I'm going to change back into the root of the workspace. Okay. And now I'm going to run the same command. Let me just first get this command. Uh, it's going to make it bigger. But I'm just going to expand it. Copy. NPM run. And I'm going to run it again. This time it should run just fine. And the project has successfully built, so we're good to go for version 10 here. Now we're going to start our migration.